to be the man. You got to beat the man. This is my yard now. I will fight anyone and everyone. Here he comes. Where is he? Cut this shot. Your arms are just too short to box with God. Ladies and gentlemen, it's a Future Heels podcast. We are not recording this intro two matches in. Why would you comment that? Yeah, we're totally not doing that. <laughs> Nakamura going... is not making his entrance right now. He's not. We don't even know if Nakamura is on the card. It's Battlegrounds. So we're going to be doing our reactions to Battlegrounds. We haven't done two of them already. No, we have not. We've not. Stop implying that. That is not how we would do things. We are professional. It's a two-man podcast this week. It's Best in the Once Realm. again. And Brian, Brian, man, Peacock. We're doing our reactions to Battleground. Um, I'm sure it's going to be a good show and it's going to have a great start. So uh, I can almost guarantee you... Two matches are going to be good. Two matches and the pre-show was pretty good. Yeah. So let's see how the rest of it is. Yes. Wow. What? What? That was interesting. Yeah. Uh, Oh, we're <laughs> Yeah, we are. That's why you're pointing the microphone towards my face. We just watched Aiden English and Ty Dillinger like half of that match. They just fucking tore the house down. Yeah, that was that, that was an amazing half. Perfect zero. I yeah, love I that. Aiden English just smashed him too. Yeah. Okay, I just thought I'd mention that. Cause yeah. holy shit, that was awesome. Oh, uh, are we gonna record the intro now? Yeah, we're gonna record it after the after the, the not the intro. Gotcha, man. Wow, what a way to kick off Battlegrounds. <laughs> New day. They are day one is H. Yeah. <laughs> Thank they're, God the fucking H Usos was day one. That's right. Thank God oh. the Usos are not champions anymore. Hopefully now they're gonna take this stupid gimmick back to the drawing board. I hope so. Look how God. sad they look. They do look... Oh, wow. He looks real sad. The one on the ground is like... He's almost in tears. That is Jimmy. I'm glad you know the difference. I think I know the difference. <laughs> I my, Two of my brothers are twins, so I'm fairly good at figuring uh, it out. He's like, I've disgraced my family. Yeah, they already did that. It's fine. <laughs> uh, so the New Day are the first ever SmackDown and Raw Tag Team Champions. Yeah. Three-time Tag Team Champions. Yeah. Who? Hoo, 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 the New Day. <laughs> Hallelujah. What a great match, too. Yeah, and was that good. That, oh, my God, that elbow drop from all coast the way across the ring. Coast to coast. Macho Man is proud. Yeah. Wow. Jay Lethal is proud. Rob Van Dam is Kyrie proud. Hojo. Oh, my God. <laughs> no, she's still like, what a bitch elbow drop. That's true. <laughs> You're probably right. <laughs> So yeah, that was a great way to kick off Battleground. That was a fan fucking tastic match. Yeah. And yeah, we got new tag champions. Let's keep it up. Let's Hell try yeah. Try to keep it up. All right, so we just watched Shinsuke Nakamura versus Baron Corbin, and it meh. was a match that had a really weird, stupid finish. Yep. I don't understand what are. I mean, I I get that Corbin's a heel. I get that that was a bullshit move that you know he. Thought he was going to lose to Shinsuke, even though he was holding his own against Shinsuke. I probably need to beat the shit out of Shinsuke after the match. Well, yeah, he did his finisher. And that was it. I don't think that did any face. No. What? What are you thinking? They're going to have 18 and a half more matches. Oh, yeah. Definitely. That's all it did. Half of them will have a finish like that. Yep. So, yeah, hopefully, I love both these guys. I love Baron Corbin. I love Shinsuke, but I, I kind of want them to split off and feud with other people. Please. Please. We know you listen, WWE, so do it. <laughs> what did I say? What, 20 seconds ago? I don't want to see Natalia versus Naomi. Yep. Now, now we're going to see Natalia versus Naomi. At SummerSlam, you get to see that. Get to see, yeah. Yeah, we are <laughs> sure. so lucky. Uh, that was a good match, and I made a comment towards the beginning that you know, I can't believe no one's been eliminated, and then they just got eliminated like all at once. Almost as soon as you said that. Why can't? Why is it only one or the other? Why can't we have progressive eliminations? I don't know. Because that would make sense. That's like the only way these matches are booked. It doesn't make any sense. It's just... And it would be fine if it happened every once in a while. Yeah. That would make it cool. 
But the fact that I was able to call that out makes it obvious that they're just that's the same shit they do all the time. Which I guess is just this is a WWE thing. I think mean, that's what they do, yeah. <laughs> that's what they do. So, Natalia won. And by the way, they said that Natalia is the most experienced person in, in that division. Could, it could yeah, be Becky. Yeah. Because Becky's, ah, I guess she grew, Beck, Natalia grew up in wrestling. Yeah, I So, I, I, don't, I don't fucking know. Becky's better. Yeah. <laughs> that sure should. That yeah. match made that obvious. That match made it obvious that Tamina is better. I would like to see Tamina versus Naomi. That would be more interesting. Yeah, sure. I would like that match. Anything would be more interesting than yeah? that. Yeah, Lana? No, okay. <laughs> you got me there. Uh, I mean, at least Lana... Natalia's got her shot. Lana hasn't got a shot. That's the only argument you can well, make. Well, no, Lana her. got her shot as soon as she showed up. Remember? Yeah. Oh, yeah, that's right. She's like, you're yeah, right, you're right. right. shot. All right. I stand corrected. Yeah. By the way... I love that Lana sucks, and right. she barely did anything in that match because she just told Tamina to do things. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, here, do this for me. Like, you know, somebody was like, listen, you suck, so we're going to let Tamina do all your spots. Yeah. <laughs> oh, boy. Well, let's hope the rest of the show is better. Hopefully. we've had two. Well, no, that was a good match. It just had a shit finish. Charlotte should have won that. Charlotte or Becky. Yeah. Let's see how the next one goes. All right, so AJ Styles and Kevin Owens had a, a good match. Yeah, it was pretty solid. I mean, the women's match was pretty solid, too, with a fucky finish. No, this one has a fucky finish. Uh, it wasn't that bad. It was a little weird. It was weird. Like, Kevin's shoulders were kind of down, too. He was bridging. He was yeah, bridging. okay. I don't know if they're going to bring that up on SmackDown, though. Probably not. I don't think it was supposed to be like that. Yeah, those the ref counted way too slow. Yeah. It was a little funny. <laughs> I mean... That was like... I'm sitting here waiting like, all right, what's going to happen? Yeah, Boom. and it wasn't like AJ was super tied up. I mean, he was in a cross-face pin. Yeah. Kind of thing, but... Maybe he didn't hear the ref counting? I don't know. It's the only thing I can figure. Why wouldn't you just break the hold and... I don't know. That was really weird. It was weird. But it doesn't matter because Kevin Owens is... The yeah. Oh, no, absolutely. I'm face super of fucking happy. Kevin Owens, the new and always face of America. I accept him. I don't care. He's Canadian. He's the best in the world. You know, but both of our United States champions are Canadian right now. Both? Oh, Kenny Omega? Kenny Omega. Is he Canadian? He's Canadian, Did too. Did I know that? Yep. Jeez. <laughs> Should probably just call it the North American Championship. At this not point. Not funny, then. No, it's not. <laughs> but but it would be more factual, I guess. Right. Um, at, yeah, I, I like the match. I think we're going to get a gif out of Kevin Owens murdering the ref with AJ Styles. Yeah, that was hilarious. <laughs> oh God. Um, overall, I really love that match. I love anything Kevin Owens. Hey, you know, earlier we said that um, who needs to, uh, Corbin and Shinsuke need to stop feuding. Yeah. AJ and Kevin could fight forever. I'll be entertained every time. Oh, yeah. They're going to have good matches every time. Every time. You put... Well, see, then maybe they need to split off Kevin... See. Oh, well, AJ and Nakamura is going to happen eventually. Right. Kevin and Corbin... No, Kevin and Shinsuke and Corbin and AJ. Those are the feuds we need to see. Yeah. I would rather that. And then eventually... God, one day we're going to get AJ versus Shinsuke. Again. Oh, my God. Yeah, but in WWE. Right. That's going to be incredible. Still one of my favorite times in professional wrestling. AJ versus Nakamura. Where uh, AJ puts his, the gun up for Bullet Club and puts right. it at Nakamura. And Nakamura catches the bullet and eats it. <laughs> God. Like, how more badass hmm. do you get? Two, I think he spits it back out. <laughs> two of the most entertaining guys in professional wrestling. Yeah. yeah. Three if you count Kevin, and then Baron's there too. <laughs> He's not on the list. He's getting there. One day. If he keeps hanging, if he keeps feuding with guys like Shinsuke, he'll be there one day. Maybe. I think so. Jinder yeah. Mahal's on screen. Shut up. <laughs> Let him talk. 
All right, so we just watched John Cena versus Rusev in a flag match. It was a pretty solid match. Yeah, you know it wasn't bad. Uh, Rusev kicked the shit out of Cena. Boy, does he look like a contender against Cena. Yeah. Like, I there's very few guys that you can put John Cena up against and, like, he might beat Cena. Rusev's one of those guys. I could have, yeah, I would not have been surprised if Rusev won. He needs to start winning. This is one of those matches where he feel like he should have won, but yeah, I get the, the image of what I mean. What we have paused on the screen right now, which is pretty fucking great. Ridiculous. I, should, I wish we could take a screenshot. Can we take a screenshot? I don't know. It's on the next box. Ah oh, man, no, not when you're watching videos. But it is just Cena standing on the steps. I can take a picture with my phone, though. And he's standing next to the flag with the American flag on the screen behind him. Looking victorious. And glorious! I wasn't going to go there, but... No? Someone was going to. In your mind, you did. I, I, I yeah, I really enjoyed this match. I, I the flag stipulation's kind of dumb, but at uh, least it's different and it makes sense because... Rusev's such a... He's such a patriot for Bulgaria. He's super proud of that. That's a super part of his character. Just like being uh, an American is a big part of Cena's character. So that makes sense for these two. Yeah, it made sense. I didn't mind it. The only thing I was unhappy with, specifically, was right when Rusev went to put the flag in the holder... I just wish, instead of John Cena grabbing it and stopping him, if John Cena would have just swiped that flag holder off or knocked it off like a cat, that would have been hilarious. Well, that's what uh, Rusev did to Cena. Rusev went up and took it. (laughs) But, like, it was so, like, Rusev was there and he was about to plant the flag and he didn't know Cena was there, and all of a sudden it's just gone. Yeah. (laughs) Rusev just plants the flag and it's gone. Okay, I gotcha. That would have been funny. What the heck? And then, <laughs> and then Cena can put him through the tables. It's but, almost cartoonish, but... Yeah, it would have been so funny. That would have been a nice spot. And, like, comedy is... Remember nuts. that next time, Rusev. Yeah. Well, uh, what was the last time they said they had one? 2000... Was it four oh, I didn't hear four? that. Yeah, they said either 4 or 14. I don't it's remember. been a while. Probably 2014, but... Probably last time Vince Russo was working for them. <laughs> At least this one was good. Yeah, I like that they had to get the flag down, and then they had to take it to the ramp. Every other one I've seen, they just had to take it down. Right. This was interesting. This was much better. There was, like, and they kept calling it the finish line, and I like that. Um, but, yeah, this solid match. I would like to see these guys keep feuding. Rusev needs somebody to push him. And I think Cena's in a position now where he just wants to push guys. And I would like to see Rusev versus Jinder Mahal for the championship. That, that would be cool. I'd like to see that. I'm not a big fan of Rusev or Gender, really, but, I mean, that would be interesting I'm a bigger fan of Rusev. I think I'd be a bigger fan of Gender, but... Rusev's been gone a lot for what, when you started watching again. Hasn't yes. He? he was also around a lot when we first started. But he wasn't really a... Yeah. I don't know. I don't know how much you've seen. I, I know I've seen more of him. Yeah, I've seen, I've seen enough. Yeah, like I know. Of- I saw Rusev in Brooksville ah. when he was um, not Russian. I can't remember what he was. Was he Samoan? No, I can't remember. He had a sumo gimmick almost. Oh. He was very much a sumo gimmick, and he had a board. He'd come out with a two by four with his opponent's name on it and break it over his knee for his entrance. Yeah, I mean that's kind of cool. Uh, yeah, that would work. So, yeah, that was a great match. I think now is the Punjabi prison match. Um, I don't know what time it is, but probably. It's uh, it's almost 10.30. Oh, I fucking hope so. <laughs> we'll see. Ladies and gentlemen, it is your main event. It is the Punjabi prison match. Randy Orton versus Jinder Mahal. And, and your, wait. Oh, and your new champion. One of those Singh brothers. <laughs> Did you say it was Samir? Samir Singh. Samir Singh. <laughs> I forgot his name already. He, cool. he was the first one out of the prison. He was. Uh, and I went, in your news! 
<laughs> I'm just gonna make you laugh now. <laughs> that needs that, to, that nearly killed you. Yeah, I died. <laughs> that needs to be like. I want to know why that wasn't ruled official. That needs to be. I need. I need to make that into a gift or something. Yes. <laughs> uh, but that match was fucking great. That was really good. Um. All four doors got locked. I didn't realize that was a thing that I got locked after 60 seconds. I was hoping they were locked, and then when the match started, they said that they were Okay, locked. I don't know if maybe I just didn't catch that before. I don't think they said it before. Okay. Um, <clears throat> match was great. They had some great back and forth. They beat the hell out of each other. They got out of the initial cage. They beat the hell out of each other. Um, oh, actually, it was the Singh brothers pulled Jinder out of the the first cage. They were under the ring. Yeah. <laughs> they must have been working in that kendo stick factory. That's right. <laughs> in the kendo stick factory, right next door to the steel chair factory. Yes. Which, as everyone knows, is under every single WWE That's ring. right. Um, so they pulled Jinder out, and it was just as the door had to close, and Randy got locked inside. What if it closed on his hand? I guess that would be unfortunate. Yeah. The ref would have to punch his hand. <laughs> no, the, the ref just lets go of the rope and it just smacks his something. hand. Something. So, uh. That hurt like a motherfucker. Yeah. Just. Randy climbed the initial cage and I said, you know, you said. Yeah, I was like, just jump. He's going to jump. Just jump to the other cage. I was like, uh, I didn't think he would. But then But he, he did. literally, he just stepped over to that other cage. Yeah. That height advantage. That height advantage, Joe. <laughs> yeah, it looks like it was probably like four or five feet away. It was a good distance. A good distance. But and he's sweaty, so he could, he could slip. Could have slipped. It, that was a very cool spot. Um, they fought their way down. Um, I think the next thing that happened was Samir, maybe, or maybe it was the other Singh brother. I'm not sure. Got knocked off the cage and threw the fucking Yeah, it was Samir, because he got out and won. Okay, and then he tried to climb back. He yeah. got out and won, yeah. Uh, <laughs> clearly. <laughs> um, but yeah, he climbed back up that cage to try and stop Randy, and Randy punched him. Oh my god, that bump through the table. That just that looked was, bad. Yeah, it did not look like You just saw the medic show up. And I can't help but wonder, does the medic sit backstage... And see bumps like that and go, no, they're okay. That worked how it was supposed to. He saw that bump and went, nope, got to go out there. Got to get out there right now. Got to go, got to go, got to go. <laughs> Give me my stuff. Oh, that didn't look good. <laughs> I don't think he sits in the back. He sits in the timekeeper's area, doesn't he? Probably. Yeah, probably. Uh, the match went on from there. We got, uh, got this one Samir brother, Singh brother, I literally said, like, right before uh, the one brother got dropped on his back on the outside. Yes. I literally said, you think these guys just show up, like, once a month to take an okay bump, take an RKO, and they get paid? That's a great gig. One brother got dropped on his back. God, it looked like he got suplexed onto his back. It looked like it hurt. Oh, it would just splash. Yeah, and then the other brother got dropped off the top of the prison and through the fucking table. Hopefully it was the other brother. Hopefully it wasn't the same. It may have been. (laughs) We'll never know. He needs a raise if it was the same one. Oh, my God, we'll never know. Those poor Singh brothers. (laughs) Luckily. But but they missed being the Bollywood boys. Yeah, right? Luckily... Uh, Jinder had some backup. Because Randy backup. was about to get out of the cage when Jinder's music hit. And he looked just as confused as we did. I looked at my phone for a second and Jinder's music hit. And I went, oh no. What did I, shit, what did I miss? I think I did the same thing. Even Randy was, he had a look at his face like. Randy was like, fuck, I looked at my phone for a second. <laughs> exactly. He's like, I can't get distracted anymore. Um. And who comes out but the great fucking Kali. That was pretty surprising. It was. He looks really good. Like, I, from what I understood, like, he was in very good health. He looks like he's in great health. Maybe he's been hanging out with the big show. Maybe. I hope so. That'd be cool. Uh, but Kali climbed up the cage and choked the life out of Randy Orton. Yeah. Like, legit looked like he choked him while they were both hanging on the cage. Jinder climbed out and is still your co-champion with Samir Singh. Right. right. 
So yeah, Jinder Mahal's still WWE champion, and now he has the Great Khali as part of his raw his faction. Yeah, and that is amazing. In my opinion, that's something Jinder needed. Yeah, it definitely helps. Uh, that was a really good match. Like that's probably one of the best main events we've seen in a while. Uh, what was the last pay per views? I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> oh, it was would have been uh, Brock. Yeah, the one I didn't watch. Oh, that's right. You didn't watch Great Balls of Fire. Oh, yeah, he did. We went through and watched them. Did, did I see that match, though? I think we just skipped to something else. Oh, we did, because it wasn't a great match. Yeah. Yeah, I think we watched WCPW, because we were on a time crunch. Yeah. Which was a great show. Oh, we, yeah. Listen to the last podcast. We talked in length about that one. Um, so, yeah, very solid match. I'm actually happy Jinder's still champion. Yeah, me too. I'm glad that things have taken a unexpected turn. I think Randy should be done. Yeah. I think Rusev should be next. I mean, yeah. I know he's a heel, but that yeah. would be a neat dynamic. Would be interesting. Um, you could have John Cena versus Great Khali, because I believe they have some history, or, well, John Cena versus Gender. Right. Because of Great Khali. Yeah, you could. Uh, you could have The Undertaker come back. Well, that's not <laughs> You don't think Jinder Mahal would go over on The Undertaker? Yeah, I just don't see The Undertaker <laughs> coming back. Yeah, I, there's so many good possibilities now. I just think Randy should be done. Because this is a big match. And big matches should end feuds. Yeah. I agree. And I've said that a thousand times. Yeah. Gimmick matches, just whatever, they should end the feuds. Yep. Um, so that was incredible. Then Talking Smack started. We were going to record the podcast. Who walks out? Fucking Kevin Owens. Like, oh, now we have to watch this. Yeah, he kind of just <laughs> moseys onto the screen and grabs a mic and goes to work. And God damn, him and Renee Young just go at it. Him and Re- Renee Young, SummerSlam, called it. Yeah, absolutely. Well, it could be uh, uh, Kevin versus Dean. Because they're be. uh, Dean and Renee are a couple. Yeah. That needs to happen at some point. They're on separate shows, though. Yeah. Which sucks. But, yeah, that needs to happen. Because, but damn, he just... If Kevin, like... I'm going to get shit for this. I don't condone violence. If Kevin were to put his hands on Renee Young. Right. Because that's, that's the next, next escalation. Right. Or to do something to Renee Young. Right. That would get Dean Ambrose to say, fuck your shows. Because it's Dean. He doesn't give a fuck. Right. To come over to SmackDown and fight Kevin. Yeah, or just the way he keeps treating her, which is so <laughs> bad. It's really, really bad. Um, and even King was like, all right. <laughs> what the hell did King say that made himself laugh? I don't remember what the hell it was. Oh, when after Kevin left? Oh, no, it was before. Oh. And, and King just made pretty much made him, he popped himself. Uh but damn, I love this dynamic they have. I'm glad Talking Smack is back, hopefully permanently. Yeah, thanks, thanks, to, thanks Kevin to Kevin Owens. Owens. <laughs> Supposedly. The the show that Renee Young ruined <laughs> and Kevin Owens was was able to resurrect for her. <laughs> Kevin Owens is such an asshole. <laughs> and she just rolls her eyes and looks at the camera like Jim from The Office. <laughs> that... <laughs> <laughs> that did it for me. If that I might have been the hardest I've laughed all night. Was what did he just say? If if I didn't like Kevin Owens enough already, <laughs> that right there. Oh, that was awesome. We love you, Kevin Owens. Yeah, keep it up, man. Holy crap! And yeah, and you're three time WWE champion, longest reigning Universal champion, NXT champion, Intercontinental champion twice. He said twice. Okay. Damn, yeah, he's got all kinds of belts. Yeah. Not tag team champion, because him and Sami Zayn haven't... Wait. Hey, to him and Jericho, I guess, never won them? No, I guess That's not. a shame. That's a missed opportunity. Best friends. Yeah. <laughs> Jericho will come back, and he'll do it. Um, And other than that, I mean, Battleground, I feel like was a great pay-per-view. It was pretty good. It was solid. We had two shit finishes. Um... He didn't really explain what happened. So I wonder if that was a little bit of a botch finish. Because he just kind of... Yeah, I don't know. They kind of glossed over it. It was kind of weird, but I don't know if it was... 
meant to be or what, but... Yeah, we'll see. We'll see uh, Tuesday. Speaking of Kevin Owens, uh, <laughs> he had his nudes leaked. I heard, I don't know what this <laughs> is about. So a lot of people were tweeting, oh God, Kevin Owens had his nudes leaked. Uh, oh no, Kevin Owens had nudes leaked. Kevin Owens responded, he just landed in Birmingham, saw these ridiculous claims, how laughable, there's incredibly p- pathetic people out there get a life. Um, he said, uh, you're as dumb as the morons who started the stupidity. Now he's considering getting a nipple piercing. So oh, I, I didn't guess see that. Yeah, the guy I mean, in the picture has a nipple piercing. Oh, okay. Uh, I, and his wife said no. Yeah, I saw his <laughs> wife said no. Um, one of the young bucks tweeted at him, well, now I regret this new nipple piercing I just got. <laughs> Kevin said, you're supposed to wait until we get it done at the same time. <laughs> Perfect. Oh. Like dumb shit. Um, I, can't, I don't know if Kevin said it or someone else said it was like, why would you want to see nudes of Kevin Owens? Yeah. <laughs> I, some people would. I'm hoping somebody, some people <laughs> would. Uh, so, then the next bit of news we have that's pretty light on news this week is that the Los Engobernables L-I-J L-I-J? Yeah, that's right. Um, and the Bullet Club are going to be going to war at ROH's War of the Worlds UK show. That's pretty exciting. Yeah, it's going to be Young Bucks, Marty Skrull, Adam Page versus Los Ingobernables de Japón, comprised of Tetsuya Naito, uh, Hiromi Takahashi, with Daryl, of course. Thankfully. Bushi, Evil, and Sonata. So, yeah, that's going to be a great match. And Cody Rhodes as well. I don't think that's on here. Oh, yeah, ROH World Champion Cody Rhodes. On the Bullet Club side, obviously. Right. Um, That's going to be a fucking fantastic match. Yeah. I hope that's on iPay-Per-View or something. I'd imagine it is. Yeah, but the iPay-Per-Views are like 40 bucks. Yeah, we can watch it somehow. Yeah. We'll we'll... figure it out. Somebody will record most of it and put it on YouTube. (laughs) Or we will legitimately watch it. We will pay our money and watch the show. Yeah, as we usually do. Uh, yeah. It just sucks that everyone is $40. Uh, the That's... last bit of news, which is just kind of something weird to talk about, is Jason Jordan is Kurt Angle's son. Yeah. That happened. Good, good I don't friend. hate it. It's something different. It's something to shine a light on an incredible superstar. Did, did they say who his mother was? Uh, they didn't name her, but it was just like a fling or something he had years ago. So, Charmel. <laughs> what? Charmel. I don't think so. That's what I saw. I mean, I, I saw this a long time ago when Kurt came back as a joke. Uh, I guess him and Charmel had a thing, like a short little thing. Oh. Where uh, him and Booker T's wife... Or, like, he was flirting with Booker T's wife or something. And uh, and they were like, oh, look what happened so many years later. And now it's now it's a real thing. Wow. Apparently, if you make memes, the WWE will make them come true. <laughs> WWE, were your memes come true? I need true? to make the, uh, the meme about Samir Singh being WWE champion. Then. Yeah, you do. <laughs> you do. Uh, well, I mean, that's it. So far, Battlegrounds was great. I don't think there's really much happened on Raw and SmackDown. Yeah? Uh, yeah, I don't think really anything happened on Raw besides I didn't that. Watch it. I did. I remember, I think I did. I remember that I think I did. <laughs> <laughs> uh, this pay per view was great, though. Next week, not sure what we're going to talk about. Maybe we'll watch a PWG show next week. Yeah, we'll find something to talk about. Oh, yeah, absolutely. We need to, we're going to start watching PWG shows, I think. Brooks really enjoyed it. I enjoy watching them all the time. Brooks said he should be back next week. Excellent. So We'll have Brooks back next week. He was uh, just unavailable again today. And uh, Chris he, Braddock had the flu. He posted something about having a gig yesterday. I don't know if he's playing with a band again. 
So I didn't know he. Oh yeah, that's right. You guys have talked about that. Hey, he's a drummer. He's an excellent drummer, actually. Huh. I'm gonna get some video of him doing that. That would be cool. Very cool. All right, guys. Well, thanks for joining us. This has been the Future Heels podcast. Oh wait, wait, wait. one more whoa, thing. Whoa, 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 whoa. What? What? Uh, we uh, we did some let's plays today. We did do some let's plays as, today as the Future Heels, and there might even be a vlog about my weekend. Okay, now you have to do it. Well, I said might. <laughs> no, you have e- to do it. Even in the video I took, I said that Jesus. I'm sending you the video and you're going to edit it. So. I am? You said you would. I said I would edit your fucking drone videos. That's what this is. The vlog drone. You're drone pulling vlog. some bullshit. I did. <laughs> Fine. Well, we do have extra content from us. I'll just use that same shit music you used in the last one. Oh, yeah, please. Use that fucking God, that awful. worst music ever. Oh, that's, that's not going up. That, that'll probably go up on our channel. I apologize ahead of time for that. I didn't edit that. <laughs> nope. I'm not taking, not taking any blame for that. I think I still have the the file to edit in. And Good. Just, change it. just send that to me and I'll put decent music on it. Because <laughs> I have plenty of decent copyright free music. So, yeah. We'll do that. For the Future Heels, you can find us on futurevillains.com. That's F-E-W-T-R-U-E-V-I-L-L-A-I-N-S.com. You can find the Let's Plays. You can find the vlogs. You can find the podcast articles I write. I've been doing a bunch of Destiny stuff lately. Uh, myself, Newton, and Grim have started a new Division Let's Play where we hunt down O.J. Simpson. That's right. We found him, too. Uh, I've got a Destiny 2 Impressions video coming out very soon. All the Let's Plays that we did today. Uh, Speedrunners, Rocket League, Vertical Drop Heroes, and a couple of surprises. Uh, they're not not—they're just surprises because I can't remember what the fuck they're called. Uh, <laughs> Stardust Galaxy Warriors? That's right. That's the one you really like. That is my favorite so far. I might actually... That and Rocket League. League. Rocket League was third. Speedrunners yeah? was second. Okay. So awesome. I, I really like Speedrunners. Oh, everyone does. You can find all that content on YouTube at Best in the Realm. You can find me on Twitter at Best in the Realm. I'm posting stuff on Instagram now again at Best in the Realm. I'm Best in the Realm everywhere, even twitch.tv slash Best in the Realm. I'm posting to Twitter right now. Where Are you? You can find me at Bryman1138. What you posting? Or they, they need to go look, don't they? Oh, yeah, go look. Go look. See what he's go, posting go right now. Go look and see what I spent um, all of my morning and part of my afternoon doing today there you go which i might start doing as well yes you should it, it could be a thing yeah it'll be my lo- my damn it don't make it a hobby <laughs> I, it's okay i i need mo- my hobby is having hobbies yeah yeah you yeah, do you are the hobby king it's like it's like when people do podcasts about podcasts that would be it's interesting inception. it was in a episode of uh the great indoors Oh, re- oh, wow, I haven't watched that. It's Anyways, you can find Brooks on Twitter, at Brooks42. Yeah. At Brian25 for me on Twitter. What was his Instagram? I don't know. It's on our Twitter. It's on our website. Go find it there. Thank you for listening, guys. It looks best in the realm on Twitter. That's right. Or Instagram. I, I, that's that's Instagram. a cool picture. Yeah, that's Instagram. That is not Twitter. Uh, wow, you completely threw me off. Where Let's stop. Let's stop. <laughs>